First, I was looking for an SSD as a second drive to store some of my games and use it as a scratch disk for photos and video editing. And an NVMe SSD didn't really cross my mind because they're usually a lot more expensive than the SATA one. Until I was browsing through JIB website, which is a Thai computer store. And I came across um, an NVMe PCIe SSD by Western Digital. And it was pretty much the same price as the SATA version. So I bought the SSD while I was in Canada at Canada Computer for $107, which was slightly cheaper than it is in Thailand. I thought it was $88, but I forgot to include the tax into the price, which baffles me. Why don't they just include the tax in the price so, you know, you pay what you see. So installing an M2 SSD is fairly easy on a motherboard. You just, you know, plunk it in and screw it in and pretty much you're kind of done. And because this Western Digital NVMe PCIe SSD is faster than my current SATA drive, I will be cloning the operating system from the SATA to the PCIe one using Macrum Reflex software, which is free and does the job pretty well. And to see if there's any difference upgrading from the SATA SSD to PCIe and NVMe, I'll be doing some benchmark which I already did. So, hey, here's the benchmark. As you can see, there isn't that much of a difference transitioning from SATA to PCIe and VME. But keep in mind, the SATA version that Western Digital makes costs pretty much the same. And the NVMe PCIe version is still a lot faster. So it is pretty much a no-brainer to pick up the PCIe NVMe instead of the SATA one. Especially if you're upgrading from a hard drive, as you'll see a huge performance boost, like in Metro Exodus. Okay, well, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed, hey, leave it a like. If you dislike it, dislike, I guess, and tell me why so I can improve. And do subscribe. That would help out a lot. Also, um, just to make you subscribe, I, I guess, try to convince you. I'm working on a, what here? A tip link, or no, TP link. Deco M4 mesh wireless network review and also building my own subwoofer with like this 12 inch sub. So hey, if you're interested in that, subscribe or just do it anyway because that would be a really nice thing to do. Okay, bye.